brothers and sisters, my friends out there, good morning, good evening, good afternoon to all of you. Yes, today's vlog is I want to have a small uh, tips about how OFW can uh, stop being OFW or paano makalaya ang isang OFW sa pagiging OFW. Yan, brothers and sisters. Uh, Isa rin po akong OFW before, so marami po akong naranasan na gusto ko rin pong ibahagi sa inyo. Yes, nandiyan yung uh, failure ako sa aking pagiging OFW dahil um, uh, hindi ako nagka, uh, nagkaroon ng mababait na amo. But purihin ng Diyos dahil sa kabutihan ng Panginoon, andito na po ako sa Pilipinas ngayon at uh, hindi na po ako nangingibang bansa. So, uh, Isa summarize ko lang yung aking naranasan being of W. Yan, alam natin kaya tayo nag-aabroad eh, di ba? Dahil gusto natin bigyan ng maayos na kabuhayan ng ating mga anak, mapag-aral. Number one na yan, for me talaga gusto kong uh, maging housemate before of W sa ibang bansa. Dahil gusto kong mapag-aral ko yung aking mga anak. Yan yung talaga yung number one reason ko. na mapagtapos sila. Yan, syempre tayong mga nanay, di ba? Ganun talaga tayo sa ating mga anak. Gusto natin mapabuti sila. Hindi nila maranasan yung ating naranasan. Pero, sad to say, hindi naman lahat ng mga uh, OFW ay mababait ang mga amo, kagaya nga sa akin. So, nung time ko, in my time, hindi po talaga ako nagkakaroon ng mabait na amo. Kasi po ako, uh, hindi po kasi ako mariktamong tao. Kung baga, nagpapasensya ako, kahit na Alam kong uh, nilalaman, nilalamangan na nila ako. Uh, nilalamangan na nila ako. Yan. Kaya, uh, nung time na yon talagang failure yung aking pag-abroad. Pero nung una, yung sa Saudi talaga is, doon ako nakaranas na, sin, na napakatinding hirap. Uh, but praise God, uh, nalagpasan ko yun. Dahil na, mabagsik yung amo kong babae, hindi ako pinapakain ng maayos, di ba? Naikwento ko na sa inyo noon sa aking vlogs before. But the second time also, but the, ta, that the time, I have been rewarded by God because in the almost, I think it's one year and six months already and I going home, then I discovered that my baba is increasing my salary for my pers uh, performance. Yes, you know that uh, I really a hard worker. lady you know that from the sense that i'm born i know that i need to work i need to work i need to work i don't want to be a bossy like that so that time uh, my baba is rewarded to me uh, and then he increases me uh one thousand dollars uh from eight hundred i know eight hundred uh real to one thousand dollars so that time i never noticed that until One day, I cleaned up the living room and I found the paper, like a contract that uh, my baba is giving me 1,000 real, but uh, still my madam is giving me uh, 800 real because she is the one who gave my salary and sent to the Philippines. So that time, I restored the story. Uh, I, I already received my reward because for my patient, for my sacrifices, of course. And then, uh, uh, it's uh, really giving to me and my baba is really giving a lesson to the wife, you know. That's the Arab country. If the wife can be mistaken, they're gonna be punished also. So, same thing. If you're gonna be a mistake in Arab country, you will be punished also. So, they are fair on that uh, first, uh, about legalities, it's a uh, fair on my experience on Saudi but uh, uh, still you know uh, as I told that how can we uh, stop being of W to stay in the country so the reason is uh, of course you're gonna be control yourself to give your salary to all of your family number one thing you must control yourself because if you really uh, see why you are here, why you are in the country that uh, it's very hard as uh, you have employer about the uh, different kind of characters, different kind of attitude. So number one reason is uh, uh, love, love, because I love my family. As I said, I love my family, I love my kids, of course. So uh, we are at that uh, point. 
But uh, if you are already how many years there, of course, don't let them to make you forever a uh, RW. So number one, love. Yes, of course, love. But number two, if you are already how many years there and you cannot stop being of W because if you are going to the Philippines, you cannot uh, afford to stay here for the bills, for the payments, for your food, please be also think. Think also good, wisely. Yes, because if the family really loves you, they will love also to stay with you. Of course, you will love to stay with you in the Philippines with your loved ones. Of course, as my kids told me, Mom, I don't go abroad already because I'm already have uh, studies and I have allowance. So you don't worry about it. So that is love. So that is love that you can, you know, appreciate. You can really feel that your family is not only love your money out there because uh, some of our, you know, sad to say some of the of W right now, they are going to abroad to make their, uh, what do you call it, their uh, needs, what they needs about families, like all the needs that uh, uh, we are in the, technology now like gadgets living uh, how to give a lot so yes in the philippines while your mom is in the country that's just really hard for me i really experienced that that i'm there and that's why i told to my kids don't be like this don't be like that because it's hard to hard you see how many times i abroad and then i get filled because of my employers yeah, then sad to say. So you must be think also wisely. The sec that number two, if you are already how many years there, and you just think that I love my employer, my employer is very good. Um, you must think, kapatid. You must think. Uh, uh, isipin mo naman na nandito yung mga kamag-anak mo, nandito yung mahal mo sa buhay. More loving if kasama mo ang pamilya mo, hindi yung uh, forever ka na lang na magsisimpi. Kapag ganun ang amo mo, of course, yes, uh, maraming sa atin na talagang uh, mabait kasi ang amo ko, kaya ako tumatagal. But, hindi po para sa akin. So, we have two options, no? Para sa akin, opinion ko lang po, uh, para sa akin or para sa mga tao ring nakaka-relate sa akin, hindi po yung solusyon upang manatili ka sa yung amo forever na how many kahit matanda ka na. You must spend also time for your family. I ilaan mo na lang yung time mo, yung natitirang time mo. Halimbawa, mga uh, 50 ka na, 6, 50 of 50 like that. So, it's time to rest naman para sa sarili mo. So, you enjoy kung ano yung pinaghirapan mo dyan sa abroad. Kailangan umuwi ka ng Pilipinas. Uh, gather your family, di ba? Kung wala kang naipon on that time, sad to say talaga na uh, kailangan mag-start ka ulit. Pero madaling madali yung makarecover kapag uh, may panalit tayo sa Panginoon. Kagaya ko, wala rin naman akong naipon na malaki nung nag-abroad ako. Kasi failure nga ako. The last time na nag-abroad ako is Malaysia, which is good naman kahit na medyo pagkasalbahe yung amo kong babae. But she really controlled the money that she is giving to my family. That is very correct way being Chinese. Yes, they are very strict but uh, in terms to money, they are just keeping it for yourself. So, Yan po nangyari sa akin. So, that, that time, uh, when I finish my four, four years contract, uh, I have, I think, 250000 when I go home. So, yan po yung nagamit ko na nag-start po ako. And then, uh, praying talaga. Praying talaga. Kasi marami ring pagsubok. Hindi yung 250000 mo. Hindi naman yan lalago ng basta-basta. Praying lang po talaga. Kailangan po tayong manarik sa Panginoon. So, kailangan maging... Uh, yung number one na reason, uh, kaya tayo nag-abroad, diba? Uh, Pag-ibig, love. Number two, talagang uh, mag-isip-isip tayo. Kapag tayo matagal na nga sa abroad, isipin natin, paano naman ako makasama ko yung family ko. Kailangan talaga yung, uh, ma-enjoy mo rin yung pinaghirapan mo. Kaya, yung para sa akin, yung pagiging OFW, kahit may pinag-aralan ka pa, kahit hindi, stepping stone lang yan para sa, atin, para sa akin. So, sana mga kapatid, yan din yung maisip nyo. And being an OFW is only a stepping stone for all of us. Not for being a slave forever in other country. Because we are very talented. We are Filipino. We are very talented. We have our own skills. Yes. That's why I, I told to my daughter, 
it's only a stepping stone. One day, if you always continue pray and believe that God will gonna fix your life, God will do it. Yes, that's why I I always want to encourage all the OFW out there that uh, being OFW is not forever. It's only a stepping stone. So kapag um, matagal ka na dyan, tapos wala pa rin nangyari sa, sa buhay mo, ganun pa rin, uh, again and again, uh, kapos ka pa rin, hindi pa rin kasya. Pag dito sa Pilipinas, di ba, pag nagtrabaho tayo rito, magkakasya yan. Bakit pag nasa ibang bansa na tayo, hindi na magkasya? Gipit pa rin tayo. Yun po yung nangyari sa akin noon, nung first na nag abroad ko. Kaya, umiisip ko rin bakit kaya. Kasi lahat ng mga luho, ng mga anak natin, minsan, pero sa akin hindi ko ginagawa yun. Kasi lahat ng amo ko, hindi ako galanti na binibigyan ng salary aura mismo. No. Never kong nagawa sa mga anak ko na bigyan ko sila ng luho ito, ito, pangbili mo ng bagong damit. Hindi po yan nangyari sa buhay ko. Ito yung panghanda mo. Hindi po yan nangyari sa buhay ko. Kasi nga, nagkaroon ako ng mga madam na ganun sa pera. Ayaw nung pangalawa ko sa Saudi, sa Tabuk, hindi pa niya binigay lahat yung sahod ko. Three months in Tabuk, my salary is not given to me. Yeah. So, I have a lot of uh, mess up on my um, on my OFW life. So, that is the important. You must be learn how to sacrifice also your feelings. Being a mom. Of course, we are mom. We want to give all the needs of our kids. I want this. I like this. I want this. Yeah, really. So, so must think also you must be wise think wisely being out of w is not easy to earn money so you must uh, use the money that you earn in uh, good ways in a uh, worth ways yeah worth things like uh, if your kids were gonna say i want to buy this uh, uh good uh, gadget please think please let understand the kids let understand them that you must be slowly think that it's not a worth things for you if you want to study i will support your study but other things please be control also yourself because here me as a mother in of w in other countries i sacrifice sometimes makain kami ng tira we eat leftovers in arab in my case i eat leftovers i eat uh, from the garbage that's how i experience being of w so i want to encourage you all guys if you love really if you will really love to your family and give them happy life, support them in a right way and don't be spoil them. Yeah. So that's all I I hope to all my FW out there that you're gonna have tips from me. So God bless you and always remember before we do things, left it to God, pray and pray and believe God that we he really uh give our needed our need every day in our life and our future and our plans just live it to god to god be the glory that's me and god bless you i want just to share my own experience on how i uh, stop being an off god bless